every culture, you know, we, you, you would like to walk into a place that you feel welcome because your culture is there. But once that culture is gone, what else is next? Everyone should care about Chinatown the same way everyone cares about and loves this city, um, Montreal, especially in a time I feel like there's so much pride right now around the city, you know, like the haves have just gone through. Montreal Mayor Valérie Plante outlined the city's new development blueprint for Chinatown last week. Key priorities being revitalizing business and pedestrian traffic, as well as boosting affordable housing and heritage protection. But some Montreal Asian community leaders say it's not quite enough. There's more and more commercial building being built in Chinatown right now. But, you know, from the outside looking in, okay, uh, it doesn't really look like Chinese culture. It looks like a commercial building. Some in the community believe the $2 million investment in commercial and quality of life improvements promised by the city administration will not be enough to protect the area from gentrification. We are up against these developers who are threatening, you know, to tear down and put up commercial buildings or other types of buildings that have no relevance architecturally or culturally to the neighborhood. They are asking for the whole Chinatown area to be designated as a heritage site. So heritage designation would actually mean um, protection for this site because it would it's a historic site. Um, it would mean protection for the site and so the types of development that would take place would be scaled down, much more responsible, ethical. We would like to maintain our uh you know, those are historical sites uh, to pass on to uh, our next generation and even to the tourists that will have something to show them in Chinatown, but they will be gone in a 10, 10 15 years time. If we don't, you know, take, you know to take care of it now. They started a petition which can be signed on the National Assembly of Quebec's website until the 11th of August in order to have the matter heard by the provincial government. To let them know this building cannot be taken down. This building, it has to remain. It doesn't matter how old they are, even, you know, even though this building, building near to collapse, okay, the government has to come up with the funding to preserve this building. And we also have different visions, like we, we have a vision for the neighborhood that would involve maybe like a museum one day, more green space, these kinds of things. In Montreal, Sasha Obis, City News.